Darlington. Darlington, South Carolina, where on Labor Day, 80,000 people will see the world's greatest stock car race. And this is the day. The 80,000 are here from every state in the Union. And this is stock car racing's moment of truth. One pace lap from the start of the 12th Southern 500. And these are the men the men who build the car and plan the race, the mechanics. Bud Moore, who won here twice, Chevrolet and Pontiac. Today he has number eight, a Pontiac. Driver, Joe Weatherly. Ray Fox, a two-time classic winner this year, his car, Number three, Pontiac. Driver, Dave Pearson. Jack Smith, driver, mechanic, car owner. He has two in this race, numbers 46 and 47. Pontiacs. Drivers, Larry Frank and Rex White. Cotton Owens. He set the lap record here last year as a driver. Now he handles the wrenches and plans the strategy for his driver, Ralph Earnhardt. His Pontiac, number six. But his records are gone now. The great Fireball Roberts, number 22, is breaking them. Tension here, the work is done. You've got to be ready now. John Holman and Ralph Moody, their record is phenomenal here. Their car, Ford. Number 28, driver, Fred Lorenzen. Three-time winning mechanic, Smokey Eunuch, and his driver, the Fireball. This is the team to beat. Others, Buck and Buddy Baker, Chrysler's, numbers 86 and 87. Chevrolet has won here four times. This is their top combination. Mechanic Bud Altman, driver Ned Jarrett, car 11. Mechanic Julie Petty, his driver Jim Pasco. A Pontiac, number 44. Most of the cars you see out there are riding on Gabriel shock absorbers. In fact, most of the cars in any important stock car race will be riding on Gabriel because Gabriels have long been the favorites of the top drivers, such champions of the NASCAR circuit as Rex White, Fred Lorenzen, and Richard Petty. These men take their shock absorbers seriously, because perfect car control is a matter of life or death when you're threading your way through a packed field, bumper to bumper, fender to fender at upwards of 150 miles an hour, 
Look at those cars go. There's very little margin for error there. No room for bouncing around, for leaning, for swaying on the turns. These men must have a good, tight, stable ride. And they get it with Gabriel's. They're riding on the famous Gabriel Adjustable E shock absorbers, the choice of champs. You can bet your life on Gabriel shock absorbers. Race drivers do. And this is lovely Mary Ann Brunimer, who two nights ago won auto racing's most glamorous title, Miss Southern 500. I'll never forget it. The most exciting week of my entire life. The Navy and their exhibits everywhere. I thrilled to see the space capsule. And marveled at the huge jet engine. The historic, famous fighting plane. All the wonderful parties, our southern delicacies, and visiting beauty queens. Miss Sun Fun from Maine. And the celebrities. Red Grange, so fun-loving, serious, modest, and homey. Admiral O'Byrne, gracious dignity. Boyish, handsome Governor Holling. Then the Navy's exciting Blue Angel. Who will ever forget the breathtaking show they gave us all? Then from the clouds, the Navy's perfectionist, the shooting stars. Finally, it was our turn, the beauty pageant. Forty of South Carolina's fairest, each of us a title holder. Soon, our 40 became 20. Then five. I didn't think I could force another smile. Until... Miss Southern 500 is number 21, Mary Ann Brunimer. down for the start now. This is it. Throttle down. Watch that flag. The car beside you. The one ahead. Steady. 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 They're off! It's Roberts into the first turn, then Lorenzen. No, nope. Lorenzen's dropping back. Someone else is making the challenge. Number 29, that's Stacy in the Ford that can't last. Roberts is in command, and he is calling this start. 
Look at him go. The records are tumbling right from the start. Here's the first sign, 39-6, and that's the timetable. The man inside that car knows, and the man in the pit knows this is the teamwork. Here it comes. Lorenzen is now moving. He's second, and Stacy fades. He's right up on Roberts. Lorenzen leads. Trouble here, trouble here. Oop. Close. Now, White smoke means trouble. Too bad. It's Banjo Matthews, and he was running in third place, and that will be all for today for Banjo. Easy boy, easy boy, easy does it. He's all right. Larry Frank this time. Could be trouble. Gates! Close. Very close. and your leader stops. Is this a planned pit stop? That hood up could be the answer. The men behind the motor say if you lift the hood and this race, you've had it. Brake fluid. It's too early to lose your brakes. 300 laps still to go. The new leader, Roberts. Petty behind. It's Franks again, right there, where he had the trouble before. One, two, three, four. This could be it. But the track isn't blocked. There is a chance. Ah, master drivers all. The yellow flag is out. All cars, hold your position. Now watch the pit strategy unfold. Here comes your leader, Roberts. Unick is ready. Tires, fuel. The hood stays down. He's back 37 seconds. Petty is the new leader. And he comes in. Now it's Pearson leading, but Fox is bringing him in too. They're all playing this one by the book. Pit on the yellow light. Lorenzen again, and the unmistakable hood up. Now, 
Weatherly's leading. And Bud Moore sends the message. Weatherly scrapes the rail, a wheel bearing. Roberts out front again. Stacy, the only challenger. Rex White, and he too gets through safely. It's been nothing but bad luck for Jack Smith today. Larry Frank first, and now White. Now Stacy stops. If there's been a surprise today, it's this team. The experts said this car could not last. Here it is, and the hood is still down. They said his crew was too young. The oldest is 23, but they've kept this man on the board all day. They know what they're doing. Cotton Owens. His decision now, move up. Now we take over. Roberts is in for the third time. Hood still down, and Petty is leading. But he'll have to stop, too. The board says Petty, Stacy, Roberts, Pearson, Baker. He's lost it. Look out, look out, Pearson! Safe, safe. How do they do it? Petty is in too soon. They don't make their last pit stop yet. Or do they? Roberts again, right on schedule and leading. He'll make one more stop, but not until his pit tells him. Make more than four and you're out in this league. That's car 27 in trouble. This is it. Eunuch seems satisfied to hear. Now he's preparing for the last stop. Or will it be the last one? The sad story. Cars out. Lorenzen, Petty, Panch. Here's the Eunuch strategy. Roberts comes in. Panch replaces Roberts. Here's proof. This is the driver's track. You drive every inch of this race. Iron Man Roberts has given all to 400 miles. Exhaustion. Now a fresh man at the wheel. Marvin Panch. Now Stacy leads. But troubles behind. Panch moves up fast. Come in five laps. Can you build your lead? Confidence, Panch. You stop, we lead. The fatal fifth stop for Stacy. Can he do it? Here's the picture. Panch in Robert's car now leads Stacy by 54 seconds. 60 laps remain. No one can make up a second a lap on a car such as this. On this driver. On this team. Unless, just unless the Pontiac stops again.
Roberts answers, we have no choice now. We've got to gamble. He's running for the finish. He may have fuel enough, or he may not. If he has, we win. If he hasn't, we're gambling. Go, go, go on, go on. 24 seconds behind. Only a miracle can help Stacy now. And this is it. Lund. It, it's Lund, and he's blocking the fast groove. Yellow light, yellow light. This is all Stacy needs. his chance and he's moving up. It's guts from here on. Panch, go on, go on. Now it's just you and Stacy. 17 laps to go. Stacy is two seconds behind. This is the man, Nelson Stacy, 39 years old, native of Kentucky, driving his first Southern 500. His last big win was with General Patton in Normandy, driving a tank. He made the unforgivable five pit stops as planned and won on guts. The fastest 500 of all, 
117.8 miles an hour for 500 miles. The fastest of them all. A while ago, I told you that most of the cars out there were running on Gabriel shock absorbers. Well, listen to this. The winner, Nelson Stacy, was riding on Gabriel's. Here's what he has to say about Gabriel shock absorbers. Quote, at 130 miles an hour, you've got to have perfect control, especially on curves. That's why I use rugged, dependable Gabriel shock absorbers. They are really tops with me. I have them on my family car, too. End quote. Yes, year after year, Gabriel-equipped cars take home most of the bacon in these NASCAR speed classics. That, of course, is because Gabriels are the choice of champs, the favorites of the top NASCAR drivers. These men know how important good shock absorbers are for proper car control and handling. That's why Nelson Stacy and the other top drivers insist on Gabriels driving on the highway as well as on the speedway. Remember, you can bet your life on Gabriel shock absorbers. Race drivers do.